We are now in the home stretch in the days leading up to the all important November election. Good evening to you. I'm Mia Grady with just a little over two weeks to go. Early voting numbers are breaking history across the country, including right here across the Houston area. Today we'll take a look at those record numbers. We're also checking in on the presidential candidates as they make a final push on the campaign trail. But first, right here at home, election officials and law enforcement in Harris County are working together to protect the vote and voters with a new election security task force. Adam Bennett is live outside a polling place near downtown Houston. Adam, this safety plan started weeks ago. That's right, Mia. This election is high turnout, but county leaders say it's also highly politically charged. And they say they launched this task force after hearing from a number of voters wanting to make sure that this election is safe and smoothly run. At one of Harris County's busiest polling sites. Well, I think everything was really well organized. I felt very safe. You'll find new measures to protect voters' health. Things to wipe down the machines. Minimal interaction with people. You got one of those little wrapper thingies for your finger, you know. They're the same precautions used at all 122 early voting centers. Everybody had their mask on, you know, everybody was standing, you know, six feet apart. At the same time, Harris County's running a new, less visible plan to protect voters beyond just COVID-19. But this is a time that we cannot let something get out of hand. Terrence O'Rourke is with the Harris County Attorney's Office. They're part of the Election Security Task Force. It includes the District Attorney's Office, County Clerk, and several law enforcement agencies. Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen will lead the response to any cases involving disruption or possible violence. So far, the good news is it's all cool out there in Harris County. People can report any real-time disruption requiring law enforcement to 713-755-7628. All other election irregularities or violations can be reported to 713-755-6965. Remember that 90% of these go right through the county clerk's office and they are misunderstandings about your driver's license or some other things that are not criminal issues. O'Rourke says the task force is also proactively looking for threats at the dark web as well as social media so that we can be ahead of the curve. And O'Rourke says they're also talking to other counties twice a week that are looking to do something similar here in Harris County. Commissioner's Court approved the funding for this effort. Mia. Money well spent as far as they're concerned, I'm sure. Adam Bennett reporting. Thank you.